Hi there, Kayla here from Vine Skills, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to map a basic doc gen and put it into an already existing document generation box or button in FileVine. So as you can see here, I'm in my Gandalf the Great project and in the insurance section, and here's my insurance templates box. Right now, I don't have any letters in there and I'd like to get a basic letter put in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to the menu and then I'm going to go into advanced and then also go into doc gen setup. From there, I'm gonna choose my project type and then I need to choose the section uh, that has that doc gen box in it where I'd like to place the letter. So I'm gonna choose insurance. And from there, I have the option to select either a doc gen box or a button that's already been created. I'm gonna select that insurance templates box. From there, I'm gonna click on field list and field list is going to give me the codes that I need to map into my doc gen. you'll be presented with a list of codes. Now that I have my list of codes up, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my letter and see exactly what fields I need to look for and replace in the letter. Here's my Word document. So I'm going to need the date, the full name and address of the person that I'm going to be sending it to. I'm also going to be needing our client's name, our date of incident, and then also a signature. So the first code that I'm going to need here is going to be the today long and I can tell that because it gives me the example of the date. So I'm actually going to want to take this code and copy it and then paste it into my letter where I would be putting the date. Uh, Normally a little copy button shows up here. My computer's being a little bit slow today, so I'm just gonna manually copy that. From there, I'm gonna return to my letter and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in where the date would be. So then I wanna go ahead and determine which field will go with the full name and address. So for me, I'm putting this letter in insurance. I want the letter to go to the insurance adjuster. So I'm going to need the insurance adjuster's address block. So if I come back to my field codes here and click Command F, I'll be given this search box and you wanna search for the exact name of the field. So as you can see, when you search, it will highlight that field name and you wanna look for the one that says insurance adjuster address block one, cause this will put the name and address in of that contact. If you wanna go ahead and also add in the company info, then you would choose the code that also says block with company info. I'm gonna do the same thing here and copy paste this code into my letter. From here, we're gonna be searching for the codes for the client name, the date of incident, and then also choosing where we want the signature to come from. So I did go through and do the same process of doing control F on the field code list, finding the codes that I needed and pasting them into my document. For the signature, I'm choosing to use the uh, assigned legal assistant or paralegal's name, and I'm pulling that from where they're assigned in case summary. Here's the field that I used for that. Now the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is go back into Advanced and Customs Editor and to the Doc Gen section in order to go ahead and upload our saved and coded letter. So here we are, I'm gonna go ahead and click Add Template. I'm gonna choose my sample letter and I'm gonna go ahead and open that. It's going to upload for me. And you'll see here when those menu options return, that means that it's uploaded successfully. Now we're gonna to return to the insurance section and you'll wanna make sure to go up and refresh your page 
and then you'll have the letter here. So now at this point, you'll go ahead and select that letter, and then you'll click Generate. FileVine will think for a moment and pull in all of those fields for you. And the letter link will appear. You can go ahead and click on that. And here is your letter with all of those fields coming in for you. So we just successfully created a very simple doc gen. From here, you do have the ability to click on the little pencil and paper in order to edit this document in Word if you would like. And here's our letter. You have the ability to edit it just as you would any other Word document. And when you click on the little save icon, it will save back into FileVine for you.